What's going on, cool cats, cool chicks? Welcome to Ben here, and um, today is the uh, perfect like day of the summer. It's now come like the beginning of June, and um, man, it's so hot out there. It's beyond belief. It's about time we had weather like this for such a long time. Like sort of like the miserable weather, like the rain, thunder, shit like that. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. I'm going to be um, talking about. To today's video and um, today's is going to be like the, uh, the tip for when it comes down to the best barbers and when I'm talking about it, it's like for um, when it comes to like particular like, hairstyling like i.e. like uh, like pompadour as a uh, main example like for all you cool cats who want to like go for the greasy style like hair style wise and uh, first of all um, when it comes down to hair barbers be sure like the one you're going to because uh, you might see like in the window you see something like cutting the hair and uh, you think perfect I know where to go but that's not necessarily true because um, there might be like, a few people who are, like, are an expert on such and such hairstyles and there can be one who ain't got a clue about that hairstyle at all believe me I know it's like it's like one time I won't drop like names of the hair bars I went to like, from the start I um, asked for this sort of like haircut, like how Elvis done it, but the woman done it, she um, she didn't even like do it right at all, man, I've got to tell you. It was basically like a, like a flat top, like a pompadour, and I'll tell you what though, man, never again. So that wasn't real good. Plus, the hair product she introduced me to, like real cream, she said that it would go perfectly well with a flat top, like a pompadour. Technically, it was bullshit, because, um, it's only like a slip top and um, <clears throat> let's see um, that was pretty much like the worst experience I had like when I first became like a greaser like the woman who done her hair when I asked for a pompadour it turns to be a flat sort of pompadour never again since then I didn't like, think about like, going there ever since so I jogged on so yeah, while I was still trying to run out, grow like the hair, so that I can try like do the pompadour on my own, but it was pretty much a disaster. I didn't have a clue how to do it. So therefore, um, for a the time being, I just had it all slicked back, sort of like in the forties um, kind of style. So, um, basically, right, where, where was it? Uh, yes, it was about um, a few years ago, but. Um, I went to like, a, a vintage event which I felt that I got trapped in because it was all like mods. But yeah, anyway, like someone like saw me in the 1950s clothing, came up to me saying, um, uh, which style, which hair barbers did you go to, mate? And I said, I used to go to that barber's like in the high streets, but it's hardly like, a spot on at all. And the person said, now, I know it's like I had that problem as well. And I asked him, so um, where would you get your hair done, mate? And he um, he wrote it down where it was. And um, well, basically the whole point is, um, if you see like this guy who has like, the, like, like an epic like, pompadour, like one, what you want, just go up to that person and um, ask him like, where he had it done. And he'll just be more than happy you know, to tell you where it is. And, it will possibly like write down like the whereabouts and um, there you go but first of all though be sure like to uh, like decide what sort of like hairstyle you want because um, when you say pompadour it could be any type it could be like a side part pompadour uh, a full pompadour a pompadour with a the uh, a DA duct tail duct arse and it can be like a taper pompadour and an undercut pompadour so um, those are the sort of things you've got to be careful with. Better than taper as well. So the wise idea is to um, like get your phone out and um, anyway, let me let me do one as, as an example. So like uh, uh, aiming for that sort of uh, hairstyle like Elvis. That's just that uh, as an, an example. Just um, go on like go on your phone or Google and. Um, if you go for like Elvis hairstyle, like a younger one like this, then um, this is what you got to um, say to um, 
the hair barber, if um, he or she is like, uh, uh, don't take it to heart because um, he or she probably doesn't know about how to do it specifically. So um, if that's the, um, the scenario, think of a backup or just do what I do, like ask for like, the back and side side done, have the top part trimmed and uh, he or, or she could possibly like try to like, do that attempt like on the such and such pompadour and um, if you're satisfied with it and um, you want to do it on your own like when it comes to like, like doing your hair like in the morning and stuff like that personally the best um, like, idea is to um, ask him or her to um, write down how to um, like do it so then um, when he or she like writes it down on scrap of paper it will help you walk through like how to do that hairstyle and um, if you feel like happy with that hairstyle just keep on going there and ask for that style of course if you see like my previous videos I had different types of hairstyles <laughs> so basically but obviously that uh, when it comes down to a particular like hair barber it's like one I go to you can't like invite yourself like, to have a haircut unless you're willing to uh, wait patiently. I would highly recommend like booking an appointment because that's what I usually do. And um, <clears throat> usually when it comes to me having a haircut I go like for every like five weeks because my hair keeps growing so long I wish it'd stop. Grow fucking longer. If you want to like, like see more of me like I'll put a link down below like my Instagram. Um, my, no, I don't use. I used to use Twitter, but not anymore. And I'll also put my Facebook page like down there, so then you can like follow, like see updates and stuff like that. So yeah, keep on rocking, cool cats, cool chicks. I see you soon. Take care. Goodbye for now.